Welcome back to Referee POV. In today's episode, we're going to cover red cards, when to give them, how to handle a hectic situation, and how to keep your cool when you're giving them. All that I know is the W up on my clan, I feel like Raekwon. Only time I got an L is when I be throwing one up at a gang sign. I've been the king with the bars, but now I can play the guitar and the bass line. I heard them saying they doing it first, I'm doing the shit for the eighth time. I used to want to pull, now I'm waking up and I got one in the backyard. I break a lot of rules, so you know I'll be driving the whip like a NASCAR. Never went Hollywood, got a house in the hills, I still smack y'all. Never say no to the bun, I smoke until it's all the way down to the ash, y'all. In soccer, send-offs are made out to be a big moment of controversy and a turning point in the game. Now this may be true for coaches, players, and spectators, but as a referee, you do not want to view it this way. A sending off should be viewed as a simple cause and effect. A player broke one of eight rolls, and they're shown a red card as a result. Now that we've simplified the red card moment, we'll go over the eight rolls that can result in a red card being shown. Instances one and two, dog so. Dog so stands for denying an obvious goal scoring opportunity. There are two instances of dog so which can result in a red card. If a defensive player stops an obvious goal being scored with his hands, then that player should be sent off. Or if a defending player fouls an attacking player when they are in an obvious goal scoring opportunity, they should be sent off. Instance three, serious foul play. This one's pretty simple. If a player fouls another player, either intentionally or unintentionally, very badly, we call that excessive force and they should be sent off. Instances four and five, violent conduct. Think punching, slapping, kicking. You get the idea. Instance five is biting or spitting at somebody. It can also easily fall into the violent conduct category. Instance six is using offensive, insulting, or abusive language or gestures. In the referee world, we call this dissent. Anytime a player uses abusive language or insults another player, coach, or official, that player must be sent off. If a player verbally abuses you as an official, you have to handle it in a very professional manner. One thing I do in these situations is I try to distance myself. I think of the situation as a player attacking an official rather than a player attacking me. Instance seven, receiving a second caution in the same game. A simple one and one I see very often is when a player receives a second yellow card in a match. If that happens, they must be sent off. To learn when you should give a yellow card, you can watch our video that you can check out here. Instance eight, entering the video operation room. This one you don't really need to know since most of you watching don't use video review, but if a player goes into the operations room, they have to be sent off. That wraps up today's session on red cards. I hope you feel confident in yourself as a referee and confident in your decisions on the pitch. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and make sure you like this video. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. Click it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.